Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at graphing linear inequalities in one variable. So we have the problem find and graph the solution set of negative 3 times x minus 4 is less than or equal to 24. And we could start this problem by treating it just like an algebra equation. That is when we have negative 3 times x minus 4 is less than or equal to 24. We could start this by distributing this negative 3. So we have negative 3 and we're going to distribute it and we have negative 3 times x is negative 3x and now we have negative 3 times negative 4 is a positive 12 so we have negative 3x plus 12 is less than or equal to 24 and now we can still treat this like a regular algebra equation and subtract 12 from both sides so we subtract 12 from the left and from the right side of this equation I'm sorry from this inequality and now 12 minus 12 will cancel and we have negative 3x is less than or equal to, and now 24 minus 12 is 12. So we have negative 3x is less than or equal to 12. But now this is the part where we need to be careful. We want to divide both sides by negative 3 to get this negative 3 in front of the x to cancel out. But this is an inequality. It doesn't behave like an equation in every aspect. For instance, when we divide by a negative, the sign of the inequality will flip. So on the next line, we have negative 3 divided by negative 3 will cancel, but we need to be careful. Now we have x, and not less than or equal to, but greater than or equal to negative 4, because 12 divided by negative 3 is negative 4. But now why does that sign flip? Just a quick explanation of why, an informal explanation. Look at something like, let's say we have a number line, and we're looking at, we'll compare 1 and 3. We know that 1 is less than 3. But if this inequality behaved like an equal sign, suppose for a second that the sign didn't flip when we multiplied both sides by a negative. Well, negative 1 times positive 1 is negative 1. And now let's say the sign didn't flip. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. And now is negative 1 less than negative 3? It definitely is not less than negative 3. Because notice how negative 1 comes after negative 3. Negative 1 is to the right of negative 3, so therefore negative 1 is greater than negative 3. So when we multiply both sides of an inequality by a negative, or divide both sides by a negative, that sign is going to flip. So now we have our solution, x is greater than or equal to negative 4, and we can graph this now. So we start by, we can construct a number line, and now the only point that we really care about is negative 4. This is our critical point. And now we have that x is greater than or equal to negative 4. So we're going to put a closed circle at negative 4 to indicate that negative 4 is one of our solutions. And now what are all the x values that are greater than negative 4? Everything to the right of negative 4. So now we could color in everything going to the right of negative 4 to indicate x is greater than or equal to negative 4. So this is our solution to negative 3 times x minus 4 is less than or equal to 24. We have x is greater than or equal to negative 4. Okay, well this is going to conclude this graphing linear inequalities in one variable problem. Thank you all for watching and I hope this video was helpful.